part two. I'm trying to finalize this shower today. We have the majority of the tile to install on the walls, complete the niche, and then we come back tomorrow. Grout, silicone. So let's get to work. Here we are, guys, on day two. Today is tile day. We're going to install hopefully all of the tile today. Um, let's show you what we're working with and what's going up in this shower here. We have 12 by 24 matte white. We have matte white rectified tile here. And this is our Schluter Jolly matte white trim edging for the niche as well as the side walls. And then this is what we're looking at for behind the niche. finalized moving on to the side walls cutting out for the tub spout with a diamond hole saw and then for the mixing valve as well we've got the rockstar four inch here diamond wheel We've got our prefabricated Schluter niche already installed. Layout is where it's supposed to be. Full tile, full tile, full tile, as well as full tiles on this row. Where this is placed, full tile above, and so forth. We brought out the trusty quarter cable here so that we can cut cleanly our decorative marble mosaic. A good little trick here is to back butter your tile. So this is what you do if you want symmetrical deco mosaic behind your niche. Lay it out, really simple. Lay it out like this. You pull your measurements and you make your cuts. So you have the same cuts on each side so that it is symmetrical. This is how we do it. So from this line to this line is the back of the niche, 18 and 7 eighths, we find our center, and then that's where we cut. So that we have the same cutoff on the right side as the left side. And there it is, the cutout for a symmetrical deco mosaic for behind the niche. So we used a V-notch trowel to trowel our thin set mortar for this mosaic. The three 
3A shower build is complete. Let's show you that final result. We grouted, sealed, and installed the trim kit today. Also polished out the tub and got the tub as nice and new as possible. It is a six year old tub. Everything in here was remodeled six years ago. They just, one, thought the uh, shower was failing and two, did not like the quality of the tile installs. So here's the tub. Again, this is six years old. Ran a bead of white silicone around it. We cleaned the uh, perimeter up with uh, Goo Gone, a spray, so it looks fairly new. We installed a new trim kit as well. This is the original valve. So, new trim kit, spout, shower head. Here's the shower. Field wall tile is a 12 by 24 rectified. Matte finish. Grout joints are at 1 16th of an inch. I want to show you the layout, full tiles all the way up to the sill, full tiles at this row, and of course, full tiles above. This is a 50% offset. We use LevTech for the anti-lippage system. All walls are flat, square, and plumb. Let's show you the niche, 12 by 20 Schluter niche, trimmed all the way around. The sill is the field wall tile. This is matte white jolly and behind the niche for the deco is a marble decorative tile this is the focal point of the shower it looks clean modern very bright this made the room and made the shower feel a lot bigger than the dark brown tile that was in here before so that is it guys our three-day build is over thanks for watching as usual don't forget to tap that bell notification, tap subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.